How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We have two more confirmed cars for the Series 22 update coming out next week. We've got more information about that update. We've got a potential new Forza game coming. Lots of different topics to talk about today. So let's just waste no time and jump straight into it. So we'll start off as usual with the quick Twitter updates. What's happened over on Twitter this week? Well, there is a new Forza support. They have identified an issue where the traffic truck won't show up in Horizon promo properly or it might appear twice. They are tracking this issue now. And we've got an interesting tweet from the Forza Horizon Twitter page where they basically say that the collisions off racing is one of the top requested multiplayer ideas on the suggestions hub with 172 votes. So one, not only are they pushing the suggestions hub as they should here, but they are noting that the top requested feature is collisions off racing. Could we see collisions off racing making its way into Horizon 5? I'm not much of a multiplayer racer on Horizon 5, so I actually thought this was already a thing. Uh, I guess it's not. Nevertheless, for anyone who wants collisions off racing, maybe it is a good thing for you guys that they have noted that they're aware that it's a top requested feature. It's worth noting that the top requested feature only has 172 votes. Come on, guys, there needs to be more of us using that suggestions up. What else have we got? Well, let's cover the two new cars which are coming out next week in Series 22, or at least we can presume that they are. You may have seen a couple of days ago we touched on the preview that we got of the Donut Media Part 2 update, or upgrade heroes well we had a bit of gameplay of the first chapter of the new horizon story which is right here now i didn't catch this at first but it very soon came to light as soon as this trailer was public but those two cars that zoom past the screen right at the beginning those are two cars that are not in the game if we freeze frame on those two cars we can see that this right here a black car looks kind of cool a white number one on it that is the pagani huayra r and the car just after that, the blue car, we're pretty sure is the Lotus Emira. I don't know how to pronounce that. So that's two really cool cars that we presume are going to come within the Donut Media update. I don't see why they would be within this sort of story if they're not included in the Series 22. So the Pagani Huayra R and the Lotus may just be coming within the update as well. So we've got those two cars. We have the S14 Donut Media car coming and a bit more information about the New Horizon story as well. The one we saw gameplay of a few days ago, this is going to be a 13 chapter long story. So it's a fairly lengthy story, which is what we like to see. And they're going to be a total of four reward cards. Now I'm pretty sure we've been told that two of them reward cards will be the high and the low 350Z. So that's two more cars we can add to the list. If there are four reward cars in total for the story, it would make sense that the other two is the high and the low truck from Donut Media as well. Those we're not exactly sure on, but now we have five confirmed cars at least for the Donut Media updates. We've got the S14, we've got potentially the Lotus and the Huayra that were spotted, we've got the high and the low 350Z, and at, sorry, we actually got six because we have the new Nissan Z as well, which is part of the festival playlist. So that's six cars that are confirmed so far, or at least confirmed. The other ones that we're not sure on yet are the high and the low truck, which may be the other two cars in the Horizon story. As the story will have 13 chapters, we were told a little bit about how the story will work. We know that you start off in a stock 350Z and you can pick which route to take. You can pick high, as in the high team, or you can pick low, the low team. Obviously the story is high and low car. Now whichever one you pick, let's say you pick high car, that will determine how the rest of the story goes. You will be stuck in high car, you will, you will have that story route to progress. Now it does say once you finish the Horizon story, you can go back again and try the other route. So you can go back and try the low route. So it basically gives you two plays of the entire story in different teams, if that makes sense. High car and low car. And that sounds pretty damn cool. It seems like we're maybe getting a new feature or at least a returning feature in a different way in this update as well. Do you remember the Horizon test track back from the first Donut Media update? Well, we can see that the test track is returning as we've been told and there is now an icon for it on the map near the Horizon Festival. Now, it seems like the Horizon test track is somewhere where we're going to be able to go and you can live upgrade your cars as you're driving around the test track. It's not anything to do with the Horizon story anymore. It's a new feature, a new place to go on the map where if you want to tune a car and upgrade it, put parts on it, you don't have to keep going to the garage. You can do it live at the test track and keep driving around as you're putting parts and taking parts off the car. That's what it seems like the Horizon test track is going to be. 
That is really cool. I am going to use that. It is annoying having to go to the garage back and forth. So yet another cool thing that's probably coming in Series 22. It's worth noting that Playground games very, very rarely have a new car on the full playlist page here, unless all of the other months within the festival playlist already have new cars in them. I can imagine there is probably a new car in summer, autumn, winter and spring and they've added the fifth new car which is a Nissan Z to the full playlist screens. This update could see up to 10 new cars potentially. What else has happened? Well, we have a potential new Forza game, or Forza style Forza game made by Hutch. Hutch is a game studios that have developed games such as the F1 Clash game, Rebel Racing, Hot Wheels Race Off. We can see the, the handles of all the games that they have developed in the past on their Twitter page here. Well, they have announced that they have partnered with Turn 10 Studios on a new standalone mobile game. We can see details about it here, but the key points of this are that this new game that will be re fully revealed in due course will focus on car customization as a core gameplay mechanic, and it's obviously a mobile game is the whole point of it. Now, it may not be titled as a Forza game because it's Hutch making it with Turn 10 advising them on it. Now, Turn 10 is the owners of Forza I guess you could say. I think if there's anybody you want to help you on a mobile car racing customization game Turn 10 Studios is a pretty good pick for that. This is probably going to be quite a while away they said these talks started in 2020 which is you know three years ago now um, so there's probably the concepts and the ideas already in play but I'll be very interested to see where that leads out because the last mobile game we had in my opinion didn't really turn out to be a great thing. What else have we got? Well we have something also Forza related in the Forza monthly live stream that was a couple of days ago when um, Chris was talking all about the new Forza Motorsport. There was something on the table in front and it was a Forza Motorsport branded sort of physical RC car. Now this isn't the most exciting thing in the world but it's Forza related. As you can see here, new bright and so an RC model car manufacturer sort of brand have partnered with Forza Motorsport to bring out a brand new car which is the Cadillac cover car for the Forza Motorsport new game. So that was cool to see. They gave one away on stream but I presume this will be hitting the market at some point. So if you want all the latest memorabilia for Forza Motorsport that's coming out later this year, grab yourself one of these. I'm tempted, not gonna lie. That is everything we have to talk about today guys. Lots of random bits. My next video will be on Monday talking all about the brand new update. Let me know what you're most looking forward to in the comment section below. I'll see you all later.